Oh, uh, <laughs> we, uh, wow, I think we should just address the elephant in the room. <laughs> Huh? The ugly painting on the wall? Can we, ad- can we address the ugly painting on the wall, please? Yes, we, uh, obviously, this is not Steve and Captain Evil in our old uh, set. Rick's so, probably so annoyed with me. I just realized I, we, like, set everything, and then I moved my freaking chair. I know. Well, um, we have gone from uh, COVID, trying to figure out how to go live. <laughs> then we went from there to filming... Uh, we got our producer, Rick, and uh-huh. Rick moved us uh, into his space. And we would drive to Austin. To a conference room. Once a week. To shoot this thing. And it was a pretty conference room. And yeah, yeah and, but then we were like, okay, fuck this. Well, I was so pregnant, I was paranoid that I was going to end up having Delilah driving to Austin. Like, I was going to have a baby on the highway. So we, we were like, no, we're going to have to So then we moved the studio solution. into our home. Yes. Then we moved from that home to another home and set up the studio there. Yes. And now we are here. Hopefully, we will not be moving for a very long time. Rick's like, yes, please. Can we like get that we in are, writing? <laughs> just to catch you guys up, you know, Renee and I, the, the podcast has grown thanks to you guys. And we wanted to get our office back in our home well i don't know i mean i really appreciated like throwing my clothes on and like dashing into the room so that's gonna be an adjustment for yeah me. today was the first day that we're like go get, i need water we don't have water here like yes. the studio's brand new we just moved into an existing studio we moved into it and that is why that painting is not our painting i would have never chosen that painting for our How, podcast background however, for the record um I, you know we're, we're, we don't know what we're gonna do are we going to come in, decorate the wall, put up our stuff? Yeah. Are, are we going to put curtains, maybe a TV screen? I, I don't know. There's something that feels like very official about it. And I had gotten used to like the hominess of being in our home. Like it's it it, it changes the feel of I, the podcast. One thousand percent. I noticed it right away. <clears throat> it is not. Um, so So maybe that's what we need to do on the set. Is make it more homey. Yeah. Well, and not only that, you know, just so you guys know that we are in a sound stage. This is a a for real studio. Yeah. So the walls are two and a half foot thick. The, the even the sound in here is different. Yeah. There's windows and people can see us through the windows. Like it, yeah. it, it's it's we will see. Yeah. We shall see. I don't know. I have mixed feelings about it. I'm a Virgo. I don't adjust well to change. It's going to take me a minute. Oh, we know. We know. <laughs> we know the shit hits the fan when the schedule's not on time. When they, uh... I don't know. We'll start with changing the painting. We'll start, we'll start okay, with that so and go from there. Okay, so I need a little help from Rick because where are we? Are we, have we talked about filming the special? We did. Yeah, we did. Last week, the episode okay. was called That's a Wrap. And we <coughs> recapped it. People have submitted their pictures. Actually, while we're talking about that, um, we got so, so many pictures. I haven't had a chance to comb through them all, but it's really Over a stinking thousand, cool. Right? Uh, no, no, we didn't hit that, but we couldn't have used that many anyway. I know you're like, I want a thousand pictures. And I'm like, the credits aren't that long. There weren't that many people. Um, so they're going to scroll through the credits, but we got a ton, a ton. We still are going to have to figure out how we're going to use everything that we got. Um, but shoot, what else was I going to say? I forgot. It's a damn studio. Blame it the is. Studio. It is. It is. Blame the damn studio. We need to bring some like juju in here and like make it ours. Well, it'll get there. It'll. I mean, you know, you know, and again, and that goes back to our personality types. Uh-huh. I am a just go. Yeah. Just let's do it. Let's go. We'll change it on the fly. I mean, we'll change it as we go. Um, the people that watch our podcast can watch it grow. Watch it change. Yeah. You're more of a hang on. Do we have enough time in the schedule to pull this off successfully? <coughs> like we're already going to be moving the cameras and everything again for the live Christmas podcast that we do. And so I was like, wait, like, why are we doing this now? And then we're going to move it again for the Christmas podcast. Well, like, I do. We do need a workspace at home. You know, Lori, yeah. Lori comes over and she sits at the, the kitchen, uh, kitchen, which is fine. And it's, it's good for most things. Yeah. But sometimes you guys find yourself in the podcast studio actually working to get away from the craziness. Yeah. And I'm excited to turn that into a study. 
Uh huh. You know, where there's a nice desk in there, some chairs. I can yeah. have a meeting in there. Yeah. You know, so I am excited to get that space back. However, talking about Brene and and her inability to for change. I was gonna say, do you want to start a fight? Is no, that I am. I'm going? about to start a fight. We haven't. We've been um, really, really good. We didn't fight through the taping no. of, the, of the special, and I was waiting. I was like, waiting Lori, for a fight. Trey, Rick. You just haven't had one in a while, so yes, you want to start, start one? <laughs> Lori, Trey, Rick, dude, our cl- I, I, I have so many damn cowboy hats, and Renee has so many hats. They sell. Oh, I know what uh, you're gonna say. I just forgot. They I just forgot sell, until you brought it up right now. They sell a thing that you can put all your hats on the wall. I had one picked on an Amazon Prime. It could have been there in 24 on hours. Amazon Prime. It was and ugly then, and cheap. So I went to Renee. And it wouldn't have even held up the weight of all your stinking cowboy hats. I went up to Renee and I said, hey, dude, I know how you are. I know you're picky as shit. <laughs> I go, this is what we need. This is the ones I've picked out. Uh, can you pick out one so that we could have one? That has now been No, you know what's going to happen? You're going to hang up the janky one from Amazon that arrives overnight, and it's going to put big old holes in our wall, and then you're going to be mad when it doesn't work the way you want it to. So yes, it takes time to find a good one, and I just have a lot of other... I'm still trying to decorate the damn Christmas tree. Can we talk about that? Okay, first of all, it's in the fucking closet. Nobody goes into our own closet. But it has to function and hold it up, it, and I don't no, want it to look and that's bullshit. I go into my no, closet. No, that is bullshit, because all the stuff I get is practical... And all the stuff you get is pretty. You, you know what we're not gonna do with the podcast studio? We're gonna turn it into a very beautiful dressing room for me. Dude, <laughs> That's I don't what we're gonna do with the podcast. My, the podcast one studio. of my favorite places in my home was on my back patio, sitting in comfortable chairs, chatting with my family and friends, or watching TV from there. I don't sit there anymore. But our furniture looks beautiful. I know. Everyone compliments it every time they come over. You, yeah. But do you see anybody <laughs> sitting in it? It's cold right now. No, that furniture is now an art piece. Oh, that's not true. It is, nobody sits in it. It's we took family photos on it. It looks beautiful. It's uncomfortable. And, and and again, I always get things that function. Renee gets things that are pretty and don't function. So the why would you think? Function. No, they, Renee. They swivel. They're big and bulky. You're just upset because your feet don't touch the ground. Exactly. That's an issue too. <laughs> Dude, the other ones you would like sit in and freaking it, you rock. And it was so comfortable. <laughs> anyway, so what I'm, I guess I'm, uh, you know, because I am starting shit. Because you are just um, bitching for the sake of bitching. No, 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 yes, no, no. Go on. I want to know you from, wanna, from the know people what? that watch and listen, uh-huh. do I pull the trigger and deal with Renee's wrath <laughs> and, and now have <laughs> the hat rack? Or do I continue to wait for Renee to never do it? Not to never do it. It will get done and it will be a beautiful hat rack. Okay, Lori, so you, chill you're out. first. What do you think? You're first. <laughs> what do you think? Lori's like, pass, pick someone else. <laughs> I'm going to pass this over to Trey. Trey. <laughs> Call a friend. Call a Pull the trigger. Pull the trigger. Thank you, Trey. Rick. Pull the trigger. I- Oh, God, now, now Rick says pull the trigger. Trey says pull the trigger. And now Lori's like, wait a minute. I'm Renee's backup, bitch. Yep. You're going to agree with me. So you're going to order it. And then I'll order it for you. Oh, oh, see the little dig? That was a dig. Renee will like it. And then I'll have to return it. There you go. Yes. That's exactly what's going to happen. So Lori's like, just save me some time. All right. But sometimes I'm like, you know, sometimes I'm like, I'm going to pull the trigger and I'm going to put my foot down and that's it. And then it never happens because Renee's like, I don't like it and it's ugly and I'll pick out Just have better taste, babe. (laughs) Like all our issues. She has no idea that she insulted herself. (laughs) She has no idea that she has just insulted herself (laughs) that I do need better taste in my decision making. Looks good. Doesn't function. <laughs> doesn't doesn't cook. Doesn't clean. Doesn't. But looks pretty. Looks pretty. You're so smart. You're so pretty. Um, so yeah, I want to know from from the outside perspective. Um, and again, I'm always interested to see what people are gonna say. Yeah. I'm always interested on on 
They're going to side with me and they're going to say, Steve, she's a mama of two, one of which is a very challenging three-year-old, and she is juggling it all with a husband who is on the road and gone half of the year. Maybe <coughs> you should okay, give gone, her a little slap. Gone that's half of the year, say. that's aggressive. That's uh, you know what? I We should like realistically count it. I wonder. I counted it the other day. You did? Yep. Yeah? Yeah. How many days are you gone? Well, just with Marriott. Because we have the nights that we spend so with Marriott. So then that's not accurate because you stay at but, way But Marriott way has been 90% of where I say. Wouldn't you say 90%? Yeah. I will tell you right now. Okay. I am titanium elite, putas. <laughs> titanium elite. 84 days at Marriott's. So that's not even close to half the year. Yeah. No, it's not. I. It feels like way more. So one third ish. But that's just nights. Yeah, probably one third. Because that's just nights that you've stayed. Well, no, keep And it, not keep only it. at Mary not no, Marriott, but, there's but, your travel days when you leave. I mean, or you're but, traveling no, but keep home. in time. I mean, keep in mind that, um, you know, lately we've just been doing Friday, Saturdays. Yeah. You know, and we're not doing. <clears throat> so I am home Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And even if I did Thursday, Friday, Saturday, that's only three days out of the seven days a week. Yeah. So that's about right. Yeah. You know, to say I've been gone half. Oh, you know what? I think it was. That's what she tells her girlfriends. You know, she does. Girl, he's gone half the year and I'm stuck there. Well, no, this week you were gone. You left what? You had Thursday. You left Thursday morning, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You didn't get back till Monday. And no, it was a long Monday, one. like till the afternoon. So really, but this that, week you were gone five days. Yes, that that was the first time in a long time, though that 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 I had to to do a long one like that. Yeah, um, it felt long. But I am writing new material this week. Um, I'm very proud to say that I did not repeat one joke. Yeah, um, from the special. Well, you were in Ontario, and you hadn't been to Ontario in a long time, so. Even if you had done the jokes from the special, I don't know that they would have seen a lot would, of them. I would say that I'm very proud of about 20 minutes of it. Uh huh. Um, now the other stuff is funny. Yeah. And I make sure that it's it's funny and we have a laugh and we have a good time. It, it is not quite on brand like I would like it to be. Uh huh. You're finding it. Well, there's uh, there's the the first 20 to 25 minutes is the stuff that I like that I want to find. Uh-huh. And then the next 20 to 25 minutes is filler. So that's like that last 25 minutes, 30 minutes. I, I just want to do it because I know that the audience hadn't seen that material and that it's funny and they're having a good time. The first part, but... What do you mean? Cool. Like, go, But explain more on the filler. Do you mean like it won't stay? It, it You will get stay. rid of it? It probably won't stay. And, and, but it's never it's never been done before, and it also probably won't stay. You don't think Correct. it'll like morph into something? Because that happens with uh, a lot of your stuff. Is ma- as maybe, you do it, it morphs into something. I'm, I'm super proud of. Uh, well, and it's funny because you bring that up, and that's what I was going to tell you. It, it it made me go there because one of the premises of the bit that I want to do is the fact that that as a mom and as a woman, it's always oh my god, how do you do it? And oh my God, you're amazing. And oh my gosh, it's how do you put up with him? And it's like, well, I put up with you too. And by the way, that's a great time when somebody says, how do you do it? That's a great place to go. I do it because I have an amazing partner. Because an I amazing love husband, him. And my husband works hard, just as hard as I do. That's a great place. But instead of doing that, you just go, well, I just do it. I just, I don't know how. <laughs> But I just do it. I just make it happen. Zero fucking credit. Zero. Well, oh, we're a team. That's not Z- true. Yes, it is true. That's so, not true. That is the new premise for this new 20, 30 minutes that we're that we're doing. Yeah. And I'm excited about it. And, and Ontario, very, very special place for me. Yeah. You know, I, I I love it. When I lived in Los Angeles, Los Angeles never People in Los Angeles just never, I never vibed yeah. with those people. Yeah. I vibe with the people in Ontario. And the people in Ontario, they call it the Inland Empire because it's Ontario, it's Upland, it's Rancho Cucamonga, it's um, uh, Fontana. There's, it's a group of, of towns that have now grown together. 
They call it the Inland Empire. Okay, there is no empire out there, but it's the Inland Empire. <clears throat> but they're all working class. Yeah. They're all hardworking people, and I've just always vibed and always had a connection to them. And it was always my, anytime somebody said, do you want to go do the Ontario Improv? I'm like, yes. Well, Inland Empire is where you filmed your very first special, right? Isn't San Bernardino, San Bernardino is part considered of the, considered part of yeah, the Inland Empire? Part of the Inland yeah. Empire. And that cool little theater. Beautiful theater. So, you know, it was nice to be there. Um, the shows were were absolutely amazing, but whew, I'm going to say something that just might make people hate me, but that's okay. Everybody hates me anyway. I know Lori's making the same face I just made. I looked over at Lori. We're making the same face. What are you going to say? No, I, I've just, you know, doing theaters this last year, uh -huh. it, it is it is exciting and fun again. And when I go to a theater and it's Friday, Saturday, and I'm doing these these theater shows, it's um, very, very show businessy, And we have this big green room and I check in yeah. and it feels big and it feels exciting and it feels just... It just feels, it's a different feeling. Yeah. Right? And I get to do Friday, Saturday. <clears throat> I get to have a big high and a big rush. And then I get to go home. Ontario was like, get there Thursday, it's Thursday. Two shows. Yeah. I got excited again. I, I, I get excited to do the material. I get excited to be on stage. I'm not getting the big bang, bang, feed my soul and then I get to go home because I was there Thursday, two shows, Friday, two shows, Saturday, two shows, Sunday. So it feels like Groundhog Day now. It felt like Groundhog Day. Yeah. And, and I'm losing my voice. I'm not, you know, the green room is is not very comfortable. And I, and I love that club. It's not very comfortable. They're just smaller in a, <clears throat> in a comedy club. They're, well, they're smaller and you're, you're, you're kind of, you know, squished in and and. It's just different. And, and Well, and you can't walk mm. around freely because the door opens right into the showroom. So right in the show. I'm kind of trapped. There. Yeah. You know? um, and I might, look, I might sound like a dick right now, but just that, you know, getting used to the big shows yeah. and the theaters and the excitement of we fly in, we get there, we do this really awesome big show. Yeah. We have drinks. Saturday we do our show and go home. Well, I even think you know, of it like mm. from a performance standpoint. Like if we're talking about any other show, it's really hard to take a show that's performed in like a black box theater and then translate it to a big, you know, to a big theater and to to go back and forth like that. There's there's challenges. I mean, luckily it's, you're you're a one man show, so you're making the adjustment yourself, but it it is an adjustment. Well, and then and then remember, I just came off the high of filming a special. Yeah. Right? Like I came off the high of, I mean, you want to talk about excitement. You want to talk about things moving. Yeah. I mean, it was, I mean, like walking through the, the halls of the Tobin Center when we were filming, it was like, there goes Lori, there goes Mike, there goes Rebecca, Renee's running around, uh, uh, Rick is just pissing everybody off and being <laughs> aggressive and yelling at people. And he was like, do you know who the fuck I am? And then everybody's scared and it was just uncomfortable. And people Not are like, we all. don't know who the fuck he is, Steve. And I'm like, nobody Not does. All. And he's like, well, he's insisting that everybody knows who the fuck he is. And I'm like, I don't know what's going on. Um, no, I'm just absolutely kidding. But th that excitement of, you know, Deanna's on the... I mean, that was just yeah. so much going on to go from that to, hey, go back to the club. And also be there and do eight shows. Okay, but at However, the same time, yep. aren't you glad that you had those eight shows and the repetitive nature of it in a comedy club to work through this new material yes. as opposed to going straight to a theater. That is for me, that sounds scary as fuck. That was exactly what I was about to say. The stage time, the love that people were giving me, the ability each night to go back to back yeah. was huge. In a city where <clears> you know <throat> people embrace you, you have such a fan base there I love from them. the very beginning I of your career. Them. Like I imagine there were probably people there this weekend who were at the taping of your very first special of Grandpa Joe's son. Yep, and, and you know, because I lived in a Walmart parking lot in Rancho Cucamonga, I know that town. Yeah. Because I, I hung out there. I, I, I lived at the Walmart. <laughs> I lived, that was my home. Um, but it's just a special place for me. And, and 
I don't want people to think bad of it that, that I'm saying it was just it was a big transition from the hoopla and the craziness of yeah. doing this massive theater, three sold out shows to then turn around and have to groundhog day. I hear you. Two, 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 two. Yeah. You know, and, and then there's just, <clears throat> you know, by the time, and that's the other thing when you're doing two a night, there is no time for fun. Yeah. There is no time for drinks. Yeah. Right. Well, and you have to like pace yourself for the stamina of making it through a whole weekend. Well, well sure. so one of your friends came and, uh, Oh, we haven't had a chance to talk about it. Yes. And she came and she has this new boyfriend. And oh, don't you go spilling all her beans. I love him. I fucking love him. And I'm 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 concerned uh-huh. because he's a lot like me. <laughs> she might have found uh, a, a me uh-huh. for her. Yeah. And I just I I I hope that she has the patience for it. <laughs> I was about to say that she has I the hope. patience for it. So he he comes in. He and by the way. <laughs> Every other guy that she's ever dated, I'm like, soft. soft. You had a real hard time with the way they shook your hand. Soft, boring. I have nothing to talk to them mm-hmm. about, right? This guy gets there. He's got a soft vibe. Uh-huh, okay. Okay, and Trey will appreciate this. <clears throat> soft vibe. I meet him. Super nice guy. Okay, explain what a soft vibe is, please. Uh, it's, it's hard to explain. It, 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 uh, Trey, can you explain what a soft vibe is? Like, it just. Partly judging a book by its cover, first of all. Oh, for 100% judging a book by its cover. Visual. Visual. <laughs> okay. The way they hold themselves, the way the confidence, the. Dress it, metrosexual. Dress if, little, it, yeah, yeah you know. We still, it, can we still use metrosexual? Just, you know, like, that word's like, allowed like Trey anymore. walks into a room, he's got, he's got like a, like a dad thing going. And, and, you, you know, I, I walk into a room, I've got a dad thing and, uh, and uh, I play golf and I talk shit and I have drinks and I barbecue, right? There's that. <laughs> there's that. It's hard to explain, I cook right, meat. Trey? I cook meat. <laughs> I deliver the meat and I cook the meat. That's the vibe I'm giving off, right? Um, <clears throat> anyway, kind of kind of a soft vibe. Uh, very nice guy from the get-go. And of course, my green room has beer and it, we have a bottle of Crown, we have a bottle of vodka. And I'm like, I'm like, hey, man, I go, whatever you want. He's like, he's like, well, you know what? Uh, I, I, I guess I'll have a beer, right? Uh huh. So he has the beer, and I'm just like, fucking pussy. There's crown there. There's vodka over there. But all right, have a beer, right? So beer drinkers are soft vibes. No, Got but it. but okay. it's it's you know Trey walks in and Trey's like, I'm drinking that, and we're partying, mm-hmm. and he's sitting down. He's getting comfortable. You know what I mean? The guy but just it's met a, you it's a, for it's, the very first yes, time, and it's a new relationship. I get it. So let me finish my story. Okay. So you know he's hanging out. And, I, and I, as you know, I'm very curious as to, you know, who they are. And, and Sure. And I'm sure you're a little bit of protective of my friend whose name we're not saying. Yes. yes. And I'm like, I'm like, so what's up, man? Where'd y'all meet? You know, blah, blah. Turns out he is a touring musician uh-huh. um, for a very, very cool band. Yeah. So I don't want to out him. Yeah. Right. Uh, he's the bass player and he lives his life on and off tour. Yeah. Right. So I'm like. Oh, Christina, you found a Steve. <laughs> like this guy, like now you have at least when I, I thought to myself, at least she can talk to you about stuff like that. Uh-huh. Right. So <laughs> Trey, you're gonna love this. So I get off stage, um, and he's already he's a little juicy, right? Because he's had a few. And uh, me and Timmy he's are gone like, from soft to juicy. Your yeah, adjective choice is a little juicy. Very he's a little juicy. <laughs> and uh, I get off and I'm like, you know, boom, I open up the crown. I pour myself a drink. Timmy pours himself a drink. Everybody leaves. And I'm like, dude, hang out. And he was like, yeah, man. So then we start, he starts going uh-huh. and he's having a good time. And all of a sudden, you know, we're, we're partying and she's looking at us like, oh, great. And he's like, dude, I'm in a green room. I feel good. You know, you see what I'm saying? you're all going with this tray where you're like, he's home. He's like, I'm home. This is, this is what I do. Right. So he, he there there was a few moments that that uh, your friend was like oh great <laughs> now Stephen Stephen and, and he have met and they like each other and they get along but oh shit right this could be bad so then I go dude you're not coming to Vegas like what the fuck I'm gonna be in Vegas and he's like dude oh, we talked about it we didn't know you were gonna be in Vegas 
So I booked a romantic trip before she goes to London. Uh-huh. That romantic trip is during Vegas. I did bring it up that we could ditch the romantic trip and go to Vegas. <laughs> and she was like, that's not happening. And I, I told him, I go, because the relationship, I go, I go, do the do the romantic trip. I got to sneeze. I feel like I got to sneeze. Um, yes, because it's a new relationship. Oh, and my me. whole goal that he does the, the, the romantic mm. trip is so that he stays. Well, but- <laughs> so that. <laughs> <laughs> so that he gets to live a little yeah, longer. Yeah, he gets to live a little longer so I can hang out with him. No, but also Vegas is like, because I suggested you because mm. I wanted to meet him. I was like so upset that they weren't coming to Vegas and that you got to meet him and that I didn't. But Vegas, I think, can be dangerous territory for a new couple. Like even us as a couple who have been together for a long time had to figure out our stride together in Vegas. We've talked yeah, about that but, before. But, the, but he also has a vibe. Very, They both have a vibe very similar to me and you. I I I party much harder than you. Yeah. And I go longer than you and I want to be up later than you. And I think that's a big adjustment. Yeah. You know, that the adjustment of I had to learn that, <clears throat> hey, Steve, you're going to you, Renee's such a, a, a trusting, beautiful person that she will let you stay out late. Give her her time. I don't I don't care about. Yeah, I don't think you're going to do anything in Vegas staying out late. That's not where my brain goes. It just sucks to go back to your room by yourself at the end of the night. It's Sometimes, more about that. Yeah. But I also know that like, hey, let's have a dinner, right? Let's, yeah. Let's have a dinner. Let's shop together. Let's have a dinner. Let's have drinks together. Let's have laughs together. Then go gamble. Yeah, because by the end of it, I'm so tired. I just want to go back to my bed and in the cushy bed. Yep. So, Trey, for, for you... Well, you don't, y'all don't go to Vegas for as many days. So for you, it's just you and Sabrina together and then go to bed together? Or does she kind of be like, hey, have some fun? I usually end up having to take her to. <laughs> you take her to bed, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't party as hard, so I can find my room. But at does the she end care if you go That's out after that? She wouldn't know. She wouldn't know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's in a coma. She's like, she's like, oh, what, you're both waking up. Oh. Yeah, that's true. That happens a lot in Vegas that people physically can't find their room. I mean, there have been times where I'm walking in Mm -hmm. and Renee's getting up and I'm like, oh, I've been here. (laughs) (laughs) But but no, but I think as a couple, you have to learn to navigate that. There's a lot of compromise in a Vegas trip between a couple if you're not both gamblers. No, well, yes. But but I will say for the first time when we went with Jake and, and our other friends for the first time, like you got the vibe at the craps table of just hanging out. Yeah. Like you and so for the first time, Trey, Lori and Rick, um, we all played craps as a couples as couples and re- the women were not playing. So they were just hanging out and we were having fun, but also you didn't have a show that trip. That was like, maybe the only the second time we've gone to Vegas that it wasn't around but, your work and a show. So it wasn't like we'd been, we'd gone to dinner, then we'd gone and seen a, you know, your show and I, had to do all that. I and loved then, and appreciated it because for the first time it was like, I still get to hang out with my wife. Yeah. Like I was playing craps, having a good time there. You girls were talking, we're joking around in between the hands and everything that was going on. Yeah. And to me, it's like, we can do that. We, we should do that more. Yeah. Right. Where, hey, girls, let's go hang out with the guys while they play craps. Yeah. Like, let's stand there, have drinks together. Well, comfortable shoes together. make a big difference. <laughs> what did you say? I said, comfortable shoes make a big difference. <laughs> if we've been doing a lot of walking already, and I don't know why I did that, but if we've been doing a lot of walking already, and then I have to go stand by you at a craps table when my feet are hurting, that goes south real quick, too. So we're, we're very um, excited about this week. Um, but it's going to be a long one. It's going to be yeah. a long week, you know. I'm just trying to get all the Christmas decorations done before we leave. Like, I'm hoping to finish them, like, today or tomorrow, because then I need some time to get us all packed up before we head out. Oh, which is a whole thing. It is It is unbelievable what it takes for you to pack. It well, no, I even think we need new luggage. I know we bought... We bought one piece of new luggage, but, <laughs> but I don't think we Lori, have. Trey, a I can see space. Trey's eyes fucking rolling. Lori literally just laughed. Rick's in his chair going, oh, Steve. No, no, oh, buddy. no, because our suitcase pooped out and I thought it was covered under warranty. So I shipped it off for the warranty and then they emailed me back and they said, your, your luggage isn't like covered anymore, but here's 
a partial store credit. So we need to repl- I don't ha- we physically don't our suitcases are gone. I should No, I, I I agree. I think we need I think we need a big big one. Well, but but then it's like logistics too. So so what is happening is we are going on a tour bus for 2 days. We're taking the whole family and a crew to Amarillo and then to Albuquerque and then the tour bus is driving us to Vegas and we'll have the kiddos with us for a few days and then the kiddos are flying home and we stay an extra day and then we fly home. So like I have to pack the kids separately but it can't just be like a huge bag that can go under a tour bus because then we got to fly home with that. So the kids stuff is in one thing and my stuff is in one thing and I don't care where the hell your stuff is. Look how long it just took her to describe what the fuck she has to do. <laughs> I'm just sitting here like, all right, Tr- Trey's falling asleep. Rick's in his chair falling asleep. There are um, logistical things that you just don't care about. And our child goes no, through about five pair, five outfits no, no. a day. And that I is need, no lie. Delilah right now is going through five outfits I need, a day. I need one pair of jeans. I look in my underwear and I go, how many days am I gone? Okay, I'm gone Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So I go... I grab my underwear. I go Thursday, Friday, Saturday, shit myself extra. <laughs> right, that's Trey? That's really what he does. That, that's what I do. It's true. It's that simple. Friday, <laughs> Saturday, Sunday, shit myself. Suitcase. And then I'm good. Yeah. And then sleep one pair of sleepy shorts. Yeah. Right? A couple of pairs of athletic shorts for the days I'm going to work out. And then jeans. And then I go show shirt, show shirt, show shirt, show shirt. And then I go tank top because I can wear that all week. And then I go yes, t-shirt. And it's then, easy when you are one man that only has to then, worry about yourself. And then I put show boots. The show boots. Show boots. You know you can only shit yourself uh, once. Delilah does not know that math. And normally I, I have, I've probably used the shit yourself ones <laughs> maybe once in the whole like like the whole time I've, I've been touring. The shit yourself ones have come in I don't know what we're going to end up doing with the kids. Like what activities and what wardrobe they're going to need. And then with Delilah, like if she's in a dress, then I need a whole separate wardrobe. If I have her Delilah's in a shirt only there and a two top, days. then we can just change the bottom. No, she's not. We're on a bus for three of those. Right. But I mean, we're, she's not going out. Pajamas. You're going to keep her in pajamas on a tour bus all day? She's, then yeah. she's going to need five pairs of pajamas for that day. In which case, we don't have enough pajamas. And I got to go to the store now and buy pajamas with luggage. So, Trey, because Trey is here. Um, and Trey tours. Oh, uh, real quick. Let me take, let me re- regress. But let me, Trey, remember to remind me to ask you this question. Um, so then I found out that he's doing a show on a cruise. Uh-huh. Like a rock and roll like cruise. Oh, we're going back to the boyfriend. Yes. Okay. And then she's going with him, and she, and I'm like, holy shit, you're about to live the same life that Renee lives. Like, it is amazing. She's like, oh, yeah, I'm going with him. I'm like, you better get ready, because they're going to throw panties at him. Oh, shush. And I told him, I said, I go, you need to know that he is going to be on stage, and women are going to throw panties at him. Uh-huh. And I go, and if he picks them up, that's okay. <laughs> if he smells them, you should be upset. That's, that's what, so we had this big laugh about that joke and she was just like oh my god like, what are we doing anyway so this is our first time we're going to start trying to to integrate a tour bus for my tours i have never i've been on tour buses yeah i've done short trips in a tour bus yeah i have never done the eight hours show four hours show eight hours drop you off i've never done that however trey does that Weekly. Well, you know what made me so, feel better? Because okay, I, I was worried. I'm, I'm worried about the tour bus trip. Other than we have plenty of room to pack luggage. I'm a little nervous about us all being in one bus for an extended amount of time. But I ran into Alex's wife, Christy. Yep. And he's been a touring mus- musician as well. And she's like, oh, Renee. She goes, does it have the bunks? I said, yeah, it's going to have the bunks for the kids. It's, you know, it's nice. It's really nice. And she goes, oh, the kids are going to love it. You guys are going to love it. It's going to be great. Trey, so that made me feel a little better. Pros and cons. Well, you are kind of trapped in there. You are trapped in there, Trey yeah. says. Yeah. yeah. Getting your own spot is your bunk. Claiming your territory is important on the tour bus? Well, you always have your bunk. So you go in the bunk, if, sure. but Renee and I get the back suite. You got that, but 
I always like traveling at night and being parked by the time you get up. So that you're not well, and that's the plan, right? Is that is that yes, Friday we're gonna get on the bus and drive all and, day and drive all day. However, you know, then you're watching TV, you're playing video games. It, yeah, and I always tell you know, Renee always says, Renee always says, I want just us family time, right? Uh -huh. So. I always tell her, I go, some of my favorite moments is that when we are trapped in a hotel room together and we're all just lounging together as a family, yeah. I feel like this gives us that opportunity. Like, hey, we're stuck on this bus together. Let's hang out. I'll play video games with Garrett. We'll hang out with Delilah. Yeah. You, you, I mean, would you agree, Trey? Or yeah. When you say it like that, it sounds so sweet and hallmarky. I hope it works out that way. <laughs> it's good for a day. So that's all we're doing is a day. We're doing a day. We're getting there. Now, shower wise, do you think I need to get a hotel room when we get there so that everybody can get off right the bus now? We're planning shower? for everyone to shower at the theater, which I was going to say, Lori, we need to make sure the theater has towels for us. Yeah, but you don't do but the a, bus shower, right? A theater bus is probably better than, I don't know if it's clean. A theater bus is better theater than Theater shower. A, theater shower is better than a bus shower. shower fine, but it's military shower. It's. Well, yeah, I mean, the water is for everything on the bus, sink, toilet, mm -hmm. shower that you're using, so you use it all up in the shower. No more water. Oh, I don't know if everyone just heard what Trey said. Rick, can they hear what Trey says? No, like, I don't think no? so. So Trey basically said, you know, you cannot run the shower for eight people because you're going to run out of water. Um, for look else. how much hair I have. Now, how functioning is the microwave snacks, all that good stuff. Great. Fridge. Fridge, perfect. It'll have an ice box probably that you can keep stuff on ice too. So pack drinks. lots of snacks so the kids don't get hangry. Yep. Okay. Microwave is coffee. Mac and cheese in a cup. Yeah. yeah. That's a good move. Oh, we got to find out what kind of coffee maker it is. Like if it's a Keurig, do I need to bring K-cups? Am I bringing old salt coffee? What are we doing? Yeah, that's a good question. So uh, but you recommend getting to, because we're going to be in Amarillo first, getting to Amarillo, getting a nice hotel room, and then everybody can shower in there. You want showers. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean. As soon as you get off the bus. I mean, the theaters we go to have nice showers. Hey, that's sufficient. You know. Yeah. I mean, like, I mean, it does, the it does depend see... on the theater. I don't want to call out any theaters, but some theaters backstage are significantly nicer than others. Correct. So that is a good question yeah. to maybe find out what those showers look like in Amarillo. Because we've and also been at theaters that smell like horse manure. True story. True story. However, I also think that I think I think for this trip, the kids will think it's fun <clears throat> to shower in the in the theater. I think they. Think, oh, in the theater, I was like, "You're trying to make me bathe kids on a bus." No, no, no. Like, I think they okay. would think it was fun to do that. Yeah. And then kind of learn from there. Like, okay, what do we do next? So then the plan: Amarillo, finish the show, crawl back into the bus, pass out, wake up in Albuquerque. Yeah. Hang out in Albuquerque because we get there in the morning. Go do whatever. Yeah. Get back on the. Oh, what I what I think I like most about it is that that I can use it as a green room to where I don't have to walk into the theater yeah. until almost showtime. Yes. Except that I think we're going to have to navigate. We have two littles. So who is coming onto that bus when there are two little kids on there late at night? Cause the cool thing is that like we can all go into the theater as a family and then when the kids start to get sleepy, they can you just walk make their way onto yeah. the tour bus and call it a night. And they're right there by us. And I can, oh, sorry, I can go back and forth as much as I want. But because um, we will have someone on the tour bus with the kids, just so that's clear. But but um, you using it as an entertaining space when our children are sleeping. Oh, there. No, 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 no. Yeah. No, 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 no. I mean, in the future when there's no kids around, yes, right? Yeah. Having a drink and having a green room situation. But when we have the kids... You know, and that's what's great about this trip is it's it is not about we're not having fun until Vegas. <laughs> it is show, show, Vegas. Hey kids, mommy and daddy gotta go be mommy and daddy. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So it's gonna be we're excited about it, Trey. I think um 
I mean, I feel better after talking to Christy about it because I think I was really apprehensive before, but Christy was like, no, it'll be fun. Oh, I was already hearing all the rumors. You know, all everybody I talked to, they're like, oh, Renee's not happy about it. And Renee doesn't know how she's going to like it. And I'm like, well, that's my that's my wife, half empty. Oh, uh, my wife uh, sees all the negative, doesn't see any of the positive. And here I am going, we're going to be together as a family. We're not going to have to get on a plane. We're going we're gonna to no, be able to I hang just, out. I'm like, poor cameraman Mike and road manager Timmy stuck on this bus with the four of us. No, but you would say that, that you go in your bunk, you pull your little curtain, and that's your own little space. But also being <clears throat> parked in the morning is awesome because yeah. you want to... F off. I'm just like, I hope Delilah doesn't pee on Mike's camera equipment. Well, and, like, and, and, you know, and, I'm just thinking of all the possibilities I have but that's And that's kind of how, how Trey and I, our relationship kind of grew because if they were in a town that i was in trey would go dude i'm i got this time to this time let's go play golf yeah or come meet me for lunch or let's hang out right yeah but it was it's also got to be nice to go i have 40 minutes of downtime i'm gonna go in my bunk like it's not a lot of time because i don't have time to go back to the hotel i don't have time because a lot of times like when i'm when i'm stuck in between that like you know that time where i'm like oh crap like now I have to go to the hotel. From the airport to check into a hotel is a process. Check into the hotel. Then and then the I'm venue. like, well, yeah. I'm 20 minutes from the venue. So I have to time it different. But if I'm there, it's like that 20 minutes, I'm just chilling. Yeah. So we'll see. I mean, I'm, I'm very, very excited about it. Uh, we're bringing cameraman Mike so he can get footage of Renee not killing each other <laughs> and I not killing each other. Um, Our marriage has survived a lot of things. We oh can ha- we can handle a tour bus. Our marriage has definitely survived a lot of things. <laughs> I am excited about Amarillo, uh, and then the new tour has been announced for 2024. Yes, we are doing a lot of cities that I've never done before. Um, we're going finally going back to San Diego. We miss San Diego so I much. I miss it so much. You know, so we're finally going back during baseball season. So. Petco Park is one of my favorite. Yeah, um, they have a parks. playground and everything for the kids and a, and a playground for the dogs, for the animals. So we're super, super excited about our new tour, stevetrevino.com. Please go check it out. I'm probably coming to a city near the you. The Good Life, it's yeah. called. Steve Trevino, it The is, Good Life. Oh my gosh. And if I can write this bit the way I want to write it, uh-huh. and I did it once, one time this weekend, I nailed it in a way that I wanted to nail it. Yeah. And, and I said... Have I seen it? No. You're going to see it all this week. Okay. And I go, and that's the good life. And everybody started dying and laughing. And then I go, and you wake up and you do it again the next day. And it just, it hit the way I wanted it to Yeah. Hit. It had the tone. Again, it has to have heart. Yeah. It can be funny, but it has to have that heart. Oh, right? I'm excited to see the so. new set and shit on it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's my wife. <laughs> Our marriage has survived a lot. <laughs> and it is the good life. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I got you. I did wanted to I did want to mention one of the comments very quickly before we wrap it up because we are um um coming on time here. Um w- uh, one of the comments was like, We get it, y'all got a good marriage. Can we talk about something else? <laughs> And I'm like, shit, sorry, dude, my bad. Clearly they haven't watched the episodes where we almost kill each other. (laughs) Um, And then, of course, I think if I continue to ask, I might be able to meet George Strait. Yeah. So if anybody, tell Georgie that uh, we're supposed to have coffee together and be friends. (laughs) Um, No, but the thing I want to remember to say, because it's only happening. I probably fucked up and called him Georgie. Uh, Uh, Yeah, that's probably, he's, he's like, what did he call me? He called me Georgie? Yeah, fuck that guy. Um, but real quick, we on your website, people have to go to your website. We are, are doing the New Year's card again. Yes. But because we were doing everything for Simple Man, the form to sign up to receive the New Year's card is only going to live on your website for a short, limited amount of time. Because we only have so much time. We so only have so much time. It, basically, for those, those of you new to us, um, we treat you guys like family because you are family. And just like our family gets a New Year's Eve postcard from us, you will receive one as well. When we started this thing a long time ago, um, the list was small. Yeah. But the list has grown and grown and grown. And by the way, those of you that are already signed up in the past, 
Well, I need to ask Adrian. I think I think last year because people move and their addresses change, we'd reached a point where we were getting so many returned ones, so we started fresh. But I think this year it's again, so. it starts fresh again. So they do have to go up and sign if they want sign up with their correct address. And, and let me tell you something. We we absolutely love 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 when we're on the road and you guys come up to us and go. Your card is hanging on our fridge with everybody else's. Or when they bring it for you to sign. That's amazing. It is very, very cool. And we appreciate you guys. We appreciate Aztec Chevrolet, Uvalde Chevrolet, Goliad Ford. Please, please give them a chance. They're absolutely amazing to us. And we love them and we love them and we love them. Old Salt Coffee. This is not Old Salt Coffee. Okay. This is this is lukewarm. From the around the corner. Don't say. Why you got to. Oh. Uh, we gotta sh- bleep that out. I should, I should have known better. You know, we might get a sponsorship from them someday. You're over there <laughs> shitting on them, and we're gonna have to be here. I didn't shit on them. You did. <laughs> I didn't say who it was. <laughs> um, and then, of course, pick cherries. Download the app. Our friends at Old Salt Coffee, ten percent off. Trevino ten. Uh, am, am I forgetting? Anybody? You said pick cherries and the tour, and I know people are like throwing out cities. It made me think of Florida because there's not Florida dates just yet, but we they're will. Coming. Yes, we will be they're, rolling out no, more are, dates. There, there are not Florida dates that have been announced. So people have been hitting me up, going, "What about Chicago? What about Florida? What about this?" There's more dates coming. Yes, these are just the first quarter dates, and the, and that are uh, available on sale. Yes. Yeah. So SteveTrevino.com for all. Your Trevino needs. And I I just want to say, I'm so proud of my wife. And I know I said it last time. Amazing director. She did an amazing job. I'm so proud of our team. Rick showed us um, a sneak peek of the yes, intro before awesome. we started today. And then I'm also very proud of my beautiful wife because she's going to be at the Home and Garden Show in San Antonio as a headlining presenter. That's fun. I'm excited. So we'll tell you more about that as well. We love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this podcast and the new sterile set, but it will get better. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Rick. We love you, buddy. We'll see you guys next time.